Hello and welcome to another adventure. Today we're next to this boat that will uh, get us to uh, Camino, the island of Camino. Last time I went with my kayak, today I'm going with a colleague of mine to do some trekking. We're trying to do the whole part of Camino, round Camino, and we're waiting for the boat to uh, get on board and go to Camino. I will give you some more information later on on this small island which is in the middle between Malta and Gozo. Now we are on the boat, we left Marfa over there and we're reaching Camona soon, it's about a 10 to 15 minutes trip. The sea is not bad today but a bit choppy but uh, hopefully we'll have a good day trekking Camino. Now we are reaching the Blue Lagoon area. There are some boats as well. It's a nice area here. Eh? And now we stepped on Camino. We will do a round trek. We will do it clockwise. It's my first time doing the whole uh, round Camino. Eh? I've been here with my kayak. I've been here when I was young. But round Camino trekking, I didn't did it. So uh, um, it will be my first. Look how beautiful it is eh, here. We have some caves over here, which I showed you with my kayak as well, about two weeks ago. The sea here is very calm. It's very beautiful. Eh? Over there, there's a Camonet, which is part of Comino, but it's a small islet, which forms part, as I told you, with uh, the Comino Islands. And now we will continue with our trek to reach some interesting Camino destinations. Eh? I will give you some more information when we reach these uh, uh, some abandoned places as well. We're heading to the Santa Maria Bay. Look how wide these passages are. Eh? Um, to have access with, uh, there are a few cars over here we see we saw an ambulance as well but cars are not allowed on this island it's about three kilometers squared this island Comino it's very small tiny compared to Malta it's small but compared to other islands it's uh, tiny so uh, and look the natural a lot of trees here rubble walls there are everything eh, here peaceful not that uh, much noise and today it's a beautiful day even crossing the channel was not that bad we found the memorial over here Ara. i know i don't know if you're seeing it on camera we will go and see for which episode this is this was built eh? maybe a memorial for someone who passed away but let's go and uh, see to, to whom this was built. We're next to this memorial. It's in memory of Salvo Said. It all bore Ruchta Salvo Said, Limit Disgrazia Flair Boschrin, 1949. Approaching now the a chapel. I will give you some more information as we go next by this chapel look three bells as far as i know they do a feast here well this chapel is dedicated to the flight of the holy family to egypt and goes back to the 16th century We arrived to the Santa Maria Bay. Look how nice these are, eh? These stokes, wooden, wooden made, and the rope. They create uh, a nice ambience, especially in such areas. We recommend doing more like this, eh, Malta? Especially next to the beaches. It's very, very nice. 
I've been with my kayak here about two to three weeks ago. It was like this. It was very nice. The ropes that I told you are not too crowded today. It's beautiful, eh? We will leave Santa Maria Bay here. We're not taking it with us. Eh? It's impossible. <laughs> And here there's an ice pond full of water, which I will show you. May I remind you to uh, not step on any floor and phone. Eh? There are the existing passages and you have to stick on these passages, preferably. In fact, there are signs with this railing to not step on any floor and fauna because you will do a lot and a lot of damage. Look, in Maltese we call it Gremshul. I don't know if you're seeing it. And here is the pond full of water. As I told you, there for sure there will be life, wildlife over there. Eh? Like uh, maybe tadpoles or uh, frogs. May I remind you not to take any tadpoles or frogs with you at home, it's illegal and there are high fines if someone gets caught. When we were young we, have, we used to do it but we were not aware of the damage we were doing it. So no no to taking tadpoles and frogs to your home. Now we're leaving the pond, it was nice, even the colors. And we're heading to the cliffs. Hopefully we will do some cliffs over here, which is the highest part of Comino. And now it's the most interesting part of this trek. Eh? I have this Maltese Ftira with me, which I did at home. And uh, I will put my camera off and eat it. Eh? Because we're hungry and uh, we trekked more than five kilometers and now it's time to have a rest and eat and have some refreshment as well. So stay there. Eh? And after that massive Ftira, we're uh, back to trekking. And now we will try to keep to the west of the island. Hopefully I will make sure to give you some views of the coast of this beautiful island. Eh? Look how nice. This is Malta as it was about 80 to 90 or 100 years ago. Eh? Imagine all Malta like this. With few buildings and a lot and a lot of nature. We will go down here. We have to take some care here because we need to do some bouldering. We went from here and now we have some more, not bouldering, but if someone comes here, especially with children, you have to take great care. These are all rocks that they might fall from the cliffs and end up here with the waves. So look how nice. I didn't did this part with my kayak, but this summer hopefully I will do it. So let's continue our trek to the other part. Always trying to have at least three points eh, on the rocks so you cannot fall. You have to always take care but at least three points. The two legs and one hand to the rocks. Next to this like it's not a cave but it's like a small bay look how nice the beauty of Camino eh? I will show you the other parts look how nice eh? the sea is picking up 
There are like two small islands here. Look at the waves, huh? And now we will continue with our trekking to reach, to reach the other parts of Camino. And we're now close to the other to the other edge. Huh? Look how nice. I never been to this part with my kayak as well, because we did it to, to Santa Maria Bay and back last time. Coming to these edges, you have to take great care, because you might be on a balcony of rocks, there might be... And uh, it's very risky if the, obviously, the rock will go off and you will end up for sure deadly, yeah? So, keep at least not to the far edge of the cliffs. We now took this path to reach the old pig farm. There's a valley over here. As far as I know, there are three valleys, two for sure, but I think there are three in total valleys. Look, how nice. And we have a sunny day yeah, today. I like a lot and a lot the Maltese sun. And we're heading straight to summer now. So this greenery will soon vanish, eh? unfortunately. Because during the summer period, no rain at all, or nearly no rain at all. So all this vegetation will end up vanishing. Now we're reaching an interesting part, eh? an abandoned building. It's a, an old pig farm, which we will go and explore and see the old rooms where the pigs used to be kept. And here we have the old rooms. Look, going in such areas you have to take care. Eh? First you have to do is have a look at the ceiling parts to see if they are okay. Remember that we're without helmets as well, eh? so everything is bending here. The structure is not that bad, but as I told you, you have to, gr to take great care, especially if you're with children here. So, be cautious and uh, check each room before you enter. Like this one, uh, the old Chorok slabs. Look how nice. Here we have these sheds. I'm very interested to see a photo like it was before, eh? this one. But it's all in ruins now. A lot of, I don't know the name in English, but in Maltese we call them Gremschul. I saw hundreds of them. It's been a while to see that amount of this lizard. An old uh, wheelbarrow, carretta. A lot of abandoned areas where the pigs used to live. Eh? Even here, are. those who have more information about this abandoned pig farm, maybe there's a section down here to leave the, your comments. And here we have something interesting. Eh? A lot of as old asbestos, take care. Seeing this asbestos, don't at least touch it. And this is an old incinerator. 
Boiler what? Two doors. Here is a, a switch, a main switcher with two switches on and off, and an electric box. I think this was maybe a room with a roof. We're trying not to create any new passages, huh? as I told you before. Please respect the floor and fauna of this place as well, although it's an abandoned area. These old ties are, we used to see them on, on our pavements. The ceiling is not that bad, but you have to take great care. Interesting here are a waste for landfill. We're passing through this area. We noticed these like canals over here. I think they were either to put water or their oh, food. It's very interesting, huh? Look, the beautiful views from here. Look how nice, huh? That was the old pig farm, which is massive, eh? I used to hear people mentioning it, but I wasn't aware that it was that big. And now we will be heading to the old battery, which as far as I know, recently it was restored. And uh, we will see it, and I will show it to you, obviously, on this adventure. Hope you are enjoying it. May I remind you to subscribe on my channel, Angelo Caruana, and uh, now I have the Instagram, my Facebook page, and uh, a TikTok account, which uh, I am uploading even shorts of such adventures and the new ones, with the new ones which I will be recording as we go along. Now summer is approaching, and we will have for sure more kayak adventures and uh, for sure I have a, a good feedback that people are enjoying it these adventures but please subscribe to my channel because you will uh, be a support to me to continue doing such vlogs and now we're approaching the battery which is in front of us hopefully it's it's open but I will check Yes, it is open, but this part is open, no gates, but we will check. Look how it was recently restored, eh? restoration work, Santa Maria, Betri in Comino. Thanks to the authorities for restoring such places. And may I tell you to keep such places tidy as they are, eh? no trash, the old cannons here. One, two, three, four, for sure. I don't know if there were any others, but this seems to be restored as well, at least the wood. And I will show you the view here. What a view they had, eh? the soldiers. Imagine during the war having this view and uh, enjoying such island. The rooms are closed, so we cannot go inside. I have this room to check it out. Look how nice the ceiling, eh? Wow. It's very interesting here, eh? We're heading out. I have this view, eh? The old cannons, as I told you. Now we have these uh, interesting, like, not bollards, it, they are in formation size and they are very rusty. Uh, El Forn, El Bayeta Santa Maria, they are very interesting. Eh? We saw some on the other part as well. And uh, 
they are signs which can lead to those coming for the first time here like me after all because I as I mentioned I did it I did some parts way back but I never did it in whole round Camino we have some other here uh, which are leading the other part because many people even on the website they it's uh, advertised in uh, anti-clockwise to do it anti-clockwise but we're doing it clockwise today maybe we have other times to do it the other way around and look the garig here i think in uh, in english it's called garig um, in maltese we call it chari look how nice over here the coast of comino that is malta over there there are some caves over here there's a small window over there i don't know it's a bit far from here but i think you can see it on the gopro always try not to step on the floor and fauna eh? use existing paths not to harm any floor and fauna i repeat this a lot in my vlogs but it's very important look how nice eh? we're nearly at the level here so enjoy this beautiful scene here we have some interesting caves eh? some on the to the rocks are one of the biggest and some which are sea caves which is this one down here and there are those large caves over there which are um, into the rocks and that is the small window that soon will go off as well and now we're exploring a bit this part there's some trees as well amazing huh? look the rock formations over here wow and look the views from up here and now we're heading back to reach hopefully the tower because eh? we're tight we're very tight with time because the last boat is at 3 30 today because they say it's uh, becoming a bit choppy and they informed us that we have to be next to the ferry by 3 30 half past three so we have to hurry up a bit and we are finally next to the Comino tower eh? normally this is open to the general public but today seems to be closed and look at the beautiful views eh, from up here it's amazing we have this beautiful walls of the Comino tower unfortunately it is closed but we have the Santa Maria tower notice here and uh, some information from Dinlard Helwa and as I told you the beautiful views from here how lucky these people were eh, to have such views from this uh, tower we have this wooden bridge and this flight of stairs here one two three four five six i don't know how much stairs but there are over 30 of for sure here yeah? and enjoy the beautiful scenes eh? we are heading back to the boats now because it's already quarter to three so we have about half an hour to our um, to our boats so we have to be on time because the last boat today it's half past three and we will end up on Camino if we don't reach the boat because the tickets here it's about uh, it is 15 euro it's uh, with return and you have to take the same boat that we took when we came from Marfa this part I did it with my kayak as well it's a beautiful area of Camino 
there's the blue lagoon over there eh? there are these small islands here and some beautiful windows there was the Arblas off over there but unfortunately we were very tight with time and we had to skip it but I already showed it to you from my kayak eh? there's one window over here eh? and there's another one over there one two and now unfortunately we're at the last part of our adventure look at the beautiful views from here it's a different perspective going through the kayak and uh, trekking it's completely different eh? and that was another adventure from uh, Comino we did round Comino trekking today it was a lovely day very sunny it was a bit hot I'm feeling hot eh, with this sweater but we did it at, and uh, it was enjoyable may I remind you to subscribe to my channel Angelo Caruana and my social media platforms which are Instagram and uh, TikTok and I'm uploading shorts as well on Facebook Reels so go and find my name Angelo Caruana and subscribe to all my social media platforms thank you see you in the next one until next one bye bye